What's going on guys? My name is ATF Cobra and today I'm doing a unboxing of the FX 8150 uh, Black Edition uh, processor and uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this. I, I've actually got the frames I wanted to with my GTX 670 and this GPU actually really helped me uh, actually get really good actual benchmarks for Battlefield 3. Now it also did help me in Crisis which I don't really play but I'm going to start recording but uh yeah if you guys haven't known um i've been on vacation for the last couple days uh went out and partied hard on friday so i couldn't upload or uh make any videos and then saturday i went to the beach so it was a no go too but uh yeah today i'm doing an unboxing showing you guys what the box looks like and what gpu uh, no the cpu and the fan looks like and also got a water cooler um fan actually for this as well it's been keeping decent temperatures but every time i overclock i just get ridiculous temperatures so i just left it at stock until i figure out exactly what's going on maybe during the week but i'm pretty tired and pretty beat but yes here you guys will see the gpu and kind of my setup i need to clean stuff up before i give you guys my full setup but here's the cpu fx 8150 and i'll also show you guys the fan my fan previous fan here's the case um, it's a pretty uh, smooth case. It's uh, aluminum or metal. I don't know what type of metal it is, but it's just a metal. Black edition. I didn't get the bulldozer. Or is the bulldozer the black edition? I don't know. There's a lot of confusing videos out there. But uh, anyways, here's the fan and what it looks like. It's no different from a regular stock fan. Um, it, it, to me, it feels pretty cheap, actually, uh, especially for a $200 uh, CPU. But then the CPU itself might have actually gotten to the cost but these fans probably cost like 24 to 30 dollars if you buy them uh, online so yeah and then here's the previous fan for my fx 4100 my 4100 was bottlenecking bottlenecking uh my 670 because i wasn't getting more than 50 to 60 frames sometimes and i barely hit the frames i wanted to now with the fx 8150 i get uh maximum i think maximum playing frames was about 115 and minimum was about 45 or 50 i think it was 50 it was it was pretty high up there actually that's re with recording maximum frames re with recording with fraps i would get around 95 to 100 with fraps while recording and minimum was about 45 and here's the um here's the actual 4100 and here's me installing it as well but yes, it did have a pretty good uh, benchmarks for me, myself, personally, for Battlefield 3. Not that I tested everything all out. I just did a little bit of testing, and uh, here is me installing it into my case. I was pretty uh, careful with it because I didn't want to drop it or have the pins touch anything, and I was pretty kind of scared. It's a, it's a CPU. I mean, this makes your computer, so if you don't have uh, this installed or if you don't you know, do it right, then you're messing yourself up. And it has to align in here. I aligned it and uh everything went well everything went pretty smooth and i even got a uh a water cooling uh, fan to actually cool it down as well because i didn't think the stock uh was going to do really much of anything but uh here's my old one as you guys can see it's pretty it had the paste on it so that's why it looks a little bit burnt when it's not really burnt it just had the paste on it and this is the fx 4100 if you could actually see the um the writing on it if i could zoom in any closer but uh yeah Anyways, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of Battlefield 3 as well. Like I said, let me go over the frames and how the frames were working for me. Um, basically, minimum frames while recording with Fraps was 45. Um, and maximum was 95. And that is, uh, you know, about what everybody else is getting with the 670. Um, and without Fraps, it, it's a, a, a little bit more. 10 to 15 plus frames I mean minimum without recording is actually 60 or above 60 it hovers above 60 to 80 to 90 when playing especially on really big maps and big servers and uh, I think I was playing this is with close quarters so close quarters I'm gonna get a bunch of frames I was getting over 115 um, sometimes and around 80 stuck around mostly 70 to 80s which is pretty good for me um, and those were just you know, actual numbers and fraps. I was actually looking at myself while I was playing. I was paying attention just to report it to you guys because I don't. I don't personally know how to actually put the uh, fraps in the videos for you guys when I'm actually um, recording, and I haven't been able to find out how to do it. But when I do, I'll actually show you guys. 
because I've been using MSI Afterburner and that gives it just takes too much of a hit actually I don't know why MSI Afterburner used to be really good I don't know what happened exactly but it's taking a really big hit it drops my frames by half yes half I don't know if I'm putting the wrong settings I mean I, I even put uh, you know I kept messing with the settings for MSI Afterburner and I just kept getting my frames cut in half and that was no go I mean I was getting 30 to 40 frames um, maximum while recording which is, is not good at all and it's not something that you want to have especially with a graphics card like this but uh, yeah uh, Fraps was doing the job so I had to re uh, record with Fraps and uh, Sony Vegas actually right now was crapping out on me um, at 68% it would just stop and um, it just wouldn't freaking you know render the rest of the video or render half of it but hopefully I'm using studio HD platinum or something like that hopefully this does upload to you guys I really want you guys to see this gameplay before tomorrow because if not then I'm probably gonna have to record um, some other gameplays because I haven't been able to get a video out and it's been almost three days so I want to make sure I get that or get a video out to you guys today if you are watching it um, then uh, mission success <laughs> But uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this uh, GPU, even though I haven't been playing, I've been actually pretty tired. Right now, I feel like taking a nap. Um, I've been out, been very busy, and I uh, thank you guys for you subscribing. Actually, your new subscribers, the new subscribers, I thank you guys for subscribing and uh, also finding my uh, content um, entertaining, I guess. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys stick around to watch me progress uh, as a uh, bigger YouTube commentator, because I think I'm getting there, you know, even though it's a slow... Uh, and steady race uh, not really a race but it, it feels really slow to get to where I feel adequate in the uh, actual YouTube uh, community but so uh, I'm getting there slowly and uh, hopefully I reach it and get to the top and you know everybody will be happy and everything will be all good <laughs> but yeah I'm um, rambling again of course but uh, I don't know uh, other than the unboxing and the frame rates that I was getting, it, it was a severe boost. Like, it was a really big boost from the 4100 that I actually was using. I mean, especially video-wise. I mean, Sony Vegas, it would render the videos pretty fast, but then at 68%, it would just stop. Like, completely stop, and that was pissing me off. But, uh, yeah. Um, here, we'll who get taken out. But, yeah, I was, I was loving the car. I, I was loving the GPU. I mean, I, I really did... You know, I actually feel like I um, spent my money well on this graphics card, and I'm gonna be able to play Battlefield 3 and record exactly where I need to and where I want to because it stays fluid even when we're recording with Fraps. But this video is just about ending. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the unboxing and the gameplay that I had for you guys. And uh, if you do like my con uh, content and you're just watching it and you're new to my channel, be sure to like and subscribe. It's been your boy ATF Cobra. Peace.